just touched down in the Dominican Republic. Well, actually I've been here for about an hour, maybe two hours. Today has been the longest, if you can't tell by my face, travel day I've ever had in my life, but I'm here now. So I'm, I'm just happy to be finally, finally out of the airport. I'm in my room and I wanna show you guys it really, really fast before I literally knock out and go to sleep because I'm that tired. Okay, so this is the room walking into the room to your right you can see me this is my airport OOTD I've had this on for a full day okay it has been like literally 24 hours of travel and I am tired child but let's keep walking there's like a little like bench dresser thing over there we have the bed really cute and a mirror girl yes yeah, so you already know we're gonna be taking some outfit selfies I have a feeling this is gonna the TV's over there I have a feeling this is gonna look really cute in another mirror okay I'm here I'm living for all the mirrors I'm living for all the mirrors and then we have this little outdoor area Wow, it's like you really can't see anything right now because it's nighttime. So I want to show you guys the room tomorrow when the light is better, when I look better. But I'll show you guys the bathroom. So we have our little shower. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Here's our sink. Here's our mirror. There are no shortages shortages or shortage of mirror i don't know my brain is fried basically there's a lot of mirrors in this place so there you go we got our little toilet so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to go take a shower i'm going to unwind because i am so exhausted i can't wait to see what the rest of the week has in store because i'm excited but for now it is literally like five in the morning our flight was delayed it was a whole whole situation i'm just gonna go you know freshen up get in my pjs i need some bug spray i already feel like i got bit i don't know i just feel a little itchy so I'm gonna go take a shower, freshen up, um, go to sleep for a few hours, and then wake up and start my real day. Okay, so it's later on in the day. I've slept for about four and a half hours. I'm up now, I'm dressed. Oh, I look way better than yesterday. I feel a little bit more rested. My braids are looking so gorgeous. So I'm gonna go eat right now, I need some food. I have on a swimsuit and these cute like cover-up pants that I got from Pretty Little Things. Oh, and it came with like, oh, it's so dark. Hurry up. Hurry up, Jessica. It came with this cute little cover-up. So I'm thinking about putting this on right now. I need to hurry up because I need to go downstairs. But I'm thinking about wearing this. I feel like it might be too hot for it though. So I'll just like see if... I can handle this heat. It's so hot, y'all. But it's so pretty, so I'm gonna go outside. Let me hurry up. Okay, so now I'm about to go get some food. I'm so starving, y'all. Let's see what they got. Okay, so right now I'm on my way to the beach. This makeup is holding up pretty good, you guys. I use the MAC Pro Longwear Matte Foundation and it has not budged because you know it's super like humid out here. But so far, it's holding up pretty well. Look, I need a photo right here by these plants. This looks so pretty just behind me. That looks gorgeous. Right now I'm just waiting for the girls. We're gonna go to the beach. Um, we've been like taking a lot of shots today. Like photo shots. <laughs> photo shots, let me clarify, like pictures and stuff. So now that we got that out of the way, we're gonna go to the beach. Say hi to the vlog, Dr. Carrie. Hey! Look at Dr. Carrie looking all chocolatey and glowy. She has, look at, she always be coming braids. through with the braids. Came through with the Every braids. Every time you see me with bomb braids, goddess locks, anything like that, it be her. And I do the baby hair. <laughs> <laughs> and look, oh, this is called, this is the manager extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Look at her, getting her yeah. life. This is what happens when you take a manager out. <laughs> and if you need your baby hair there, your edges laid, I got you. <laughs> she got you. <laughs> 
Hi, good. Where can we get a towel for the <laughs> thank you. Yes, beautiful hair. Oh, thank you. Look at this white sand, y'all. It's so gorgeous. Actually, you know what? It's not as hot as I thought. It cooled down. Yeah, it cooled down pretty well. So we're on the beach. This sand is so gorgeous. I am not a fan of sand, but this white sand is so soft and it's cool too. So we need to find a little spot. We need us a little, like one of those little situations. Yeah, we need one of those. One of these little situations right here. So pretty, where is the light at? I need to find the light, y'all. Oh Lord, don't fall, Jessica. This water better not push me in, guys, because I have my camera in my hand. The water actually is so warm. It's super warm. <laughs> Look at them all the way over there. Y'all know. <laughs> the water is so warm and the sun is just shining and beaming. I hate the fact that I'm a scaredy cat. I already explained to them why I really don't get in water. I low key want to do something like that. That looks fun. That really does look fun. But the scaredy cat in me probably won't let me be great. So I'm going to just stay right on her. I should just put my camera up because I don't want to drop my camera. It's just my look. And I dropped my camera. Okay y'all, so I switched up my outfit. I'm about to head out to dinner, so this is what I have going on. I have this cute dress that I got from ASOS. It's super, super cute. I decided to wear a hat even though it's like nighttime and the sun is out. Um, I got some layered necklaces that I got from Forever 21, some hoops from Forever 21. I added some beads to my braids. Uh, here's the dress from ASOS, it's like cut out. I broke the button in the back. I don't think y'all are gonna be able to see it, but it's not supposed to be like open like that. If you can see it, see it? It's not supposed to be like that, but I broke it, so. It is what it is. I got these um, sandals from ASOS as well. So I'm on my way to the dinner that we're having with curls tonight. It's like a reception. So I need to get the walk in. I made sure I put my bug spray on because no, nobody has time for mosquitoes. I know I don't. So yeah, this is the look. I think it looks really cute. I feel like it's a daytime look. My nighttime dresses, I just wasn't in the mood to wear that tonight. I kind of wanted something a little bit more, you know, on the casual side since it's by the beach. So this is the look. The lip is the Fenty, the red uncensored lip paint. Y'all know what I mean, it's that one. And I got the Fenty on my eyes. So yeah, let's go. I was supposed to meet up with my manager and Dr. Carey, but um, I had to do a quick photo shoot. Let's see if that's them hitting me up now. It's still humid, but it's not like, oh, make sure we don't give nobody a free show. We are not doing that. Who is hitting me up? I don't even know where I'm going. Well, I'm just walking like I know what I'm doing and I don't. So our first day starts out with helping you think transformationally, okay? So I want us to say that word so that it could already start in your being. I want you to say, think transformation. Are you ready? Here we go, together. Think, think transformation. transformation. Day two, <laughs> we're gonna help you be transformational. Are you ready on the count of three? One, two, three. Be, be transformational. And finally on day three, we're gonna help you feel like you're living transformed so that you can therefore live transformed. Say that with me, ready? Live transformed. Just came back from the dinner that we just had and it was so emotionally inspiring. <laughs> Everyone sharing their different stories and their journeys on how they got to where they are now, what their platform means to them and just their start and what really matters. Like that literally when every person was sharing their journey, their struggle or whatever, I was like fighting back tears. I was like, I already know if I share my story, all of me hold all of this holding back tears it's just gonna happen when i spoke when i speak and yeah i couldn't hold back 
it's just something about just knowing, you know, where your start is, where your start was, where you came from, and where you are now, and just realizing how blessed you are. It can get pretty emotional, so I just felt super inspired by all the girls who were there tonight, and I cannot wait for us to do what we are going to do tomorrow and share that experience with you guys. Curls has really been taking care of us and it's been fun. Speaking of that, look at these dope monogram little pajamas that they've gotten us. Like it says curls right here and then it has our name on it. I thought that was so cute. Have all my slippers with it. So we're about to have a little pajama get together and I'm gonna head on over there right now really in love in these braids though, okay? Yes, Dr. Carey, you better do that. a bit of a distance so get comfortable if you need to take a nap we've been running you a little hard go for it okay what I need to let you know is if you need an extra shirt we have some uh, just go ahead and raise your hands and keep them high and she'll come and bring them to you okay and I'm gonna do a roll call now to make sure we have everyone on board We're about to go into the school to talk to the young girls about self-esteem and just kind of talk to them and help encourage them. So I'm excited. Here we go, y'all. Eh, les hablo ahora a mis chicas de Soy Niña Soy Importante. Estamos un poquito retrasadas, así que quiero que por favor me tengan un poquito de paciencia, pero estamos preparando algo muy, muy, muy divertido y muy emocionante para ustedes, ¿de acuerdo? All right, so Kathy started out with saying, who's happy? So if you guys are happy to be here, raise your hand and shout it out. Estoy preguntando si están felices de estar aquí. Si hablamos español, decirle a las niñas y chicas que hablan inglés. Mi nombre es, pero de inglés. My name is Hannington. Nos escribimos en la cosa, nos lo pegamos y eso se acompaña también de pegarles a ellos cuando nos today and I brought some beautiful brown women that look just like you at every table because we're here for you. We came all the way from the United States to see you. Okay, so right now the girls are sharing their story. They're writing down in their book. Sharing their story. We'll talk about it a little bit later. 
Spanish. So as you can see, as you can see, you saw it. I did it in English because we're not going to even try. <laughs> but your soy means I am. So I'm literally, you guys, trying to learn Spanish by the end of this trip. That's like my mission. <laughs> day here in the DR Dominican Republic I didn't vlog as much today because y'all don't know what happened but I got some sort of food poisoning uh, yesterday and I don't know why the heck or how it happened but it happened and I was literally to just just not myself the rest of the day like towards the end of the day I just started having like headaches and then um, when we came back from, I believe it's called the Esmeralda Beach. Uh, yeah, I just literally just could not even vlog, pick up my camera. I couldn't even eat. I was really, really determined to throw down last night. You know what I'm saying? On some Dominican food. I could not eat the smell of food because I, I still went out to dinner. But the smell of food just made me want to throw up and literally while i was there at dinner i was like i felt my stomach just it felt like sharp stabbing pains in my stomach and i'm just like oh my god i hope i don't throw up or i hope something doesn't happen through the other end if you know what i mean so i had to hurry up go and go back to my room and sure enough both ends were exploding and i was in so much pain and then my power went out so can you imagine throwing up and being on the toilet at the same time in the dark. Yeah, that was my life last night. So I'm feeling a little bit better today. I took some more photos and then I went to go eat at the Level restaurant here 
on the resort and I only ate um, like fruits and vegetables I didn't want to touch any meat I did have some potatoes but I didn't want to touch any meat just because I'm just really trying to get my stomach together it's feeling a little better but I don't want it to start acting up again so it just sucks that my last day here I, I would have to be sick right nonetheless I just went outside right now to take some portraits of myself with my cell phone my room is a hot mess <laughs> literally but like I have this dress on that I got from ASOS I don't know if I showed you guys this because I wore this the first night I probably did show you this but I didn't get any photos in it so you know I threw it on today and I did some self portrait photos I love this dress so much it goes all the way down and it has like some slits in it I want to show you guys my outdoor area I don't think I showed you this it's so pretty that door is bad. here's outside of my room what it looks like it's so beautiful and so peaceful. I would love to come here with like my family. I think this would be a good like vacation place for us to chill. The lighting over here is perfect. The weather today is not too bad. It's like, you know, it's humid, of course, but it's not as like scorching hot like it was the past few days. If there's a little breeze. I actually ordered room service about maybe 40 minutes ago. I don't know where it's at, but I'm hungry. I just got, ooh, it's dark. Let me see right here. I just got some fruit, um, a salad. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Fruit and a salad, that's all I got. I need to go pack my stuff, and I need to get ready for this. Um, I was trying to figure out what this was. Y'all, it's so many different types of, ooh, that looks like room service. Okay, room service is here. Let's see what I got. All right, there's some fruit. I didn't ask for this type. I just literally asked for watermelon and pineapple, but oh well, I'll eat that. What else is there? We have a salad. I don't know. Oh, that's the veggie wrap. Okay, veggie wrap. And we have a salad. So that's what I'm going to eat. I'm going to get dressed. The reception starts at 7. I'm going to get dressed. Um, I don't want to put makeup on. I really just, like today, I just like put a little blush filled in my like I, I'm just not in the mood nor am I in the mind state for makeup but I might put some on tonight we'll see how I feel but I'm gonna eat this really fast you guys hopefully I'm up for vlogging the rest of the day I really want to I just want to feel better so that's kind of where I'm at right now I could take this hat off though because why do I have it on isn't this archway like this is a photo right here that's a photo right here, girl. Not with that dirty background though. Mm -mm. All right, guys, we're here at the Pearls reception dinner. Everybody's back there. Everybody looks so bomb. Everybody's slaying out here. back to my room I'm going to pack all this mess that I have back there because it is currently like 11 something and we have to leave um, the resort by 3 45 a.m. to catch a flight so I don't think I'm even gonna go to sleep thank God my stomach feels a lot better now um, why is my eye twitching so I'm gonna pack my bags take a shower I'll probably just be up until we go because the last thing I want to be is extremely drained and tired um a few hours before i take my flight so i'll probably hopefully i can fall asleep on the plane um but yeah overall i love this trip i had so much fun i love meeting all the new influencers that i haven't met before my favorite part of this entire trip was going to the school and speaking to the the young girls that was my absolute favorite part of this entire trip you know, yes, the hotel was nice, the beach was nice, all of that, and taking, you know, pictures and stuff, but that wasn't my favorite part. My favorite part was talking to the young girls, hearing their stories, and just them opening up, because in the beginning, they were a little apprehensive, like, they were just like, oh, who are these girls? And plus, with the language barrier, it kind of made it, you know, a little bit more awkward, but 
I'm so glad that we were able, despite the language barrier, we were able to communicate to the girls and connect with them. And it was so funny how they just opened up to us and asking us, you know, different questions about like where we're from. Like <laughs> the girls were asking me, do you know the Kardashians? Because I know that I'm from California and they were asking another influencer. I think her name was Christina. They were asking her, like, does she know Cardi B because she's from New York? So just the fact that they know about some American things and they were just trying to connect and communicate to us. It was just so it was so impactful. I get more joy out of stuff like that, like taking pictures and all that stuff. I don't really get fulfillment out of that, but I get joy when I when I get to speak to young girls. So that was my absolute favorite part. Um, I got like they, they wrote cards for us. And I'm so sad because I think someone picked up the cards that the little girls wrote for me. So I was real sad about that because even though it was in one of the girls actually had someone translate what she wanted to write for me in English. And I'm so, oh my God, I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I really wanted that to save that and have that as a like keepsake from my trip from the Dominican. But I did take pictures with the girls. I got some footage with the girls. So I'll always have that to treasure. You never realize how good you have it until you see how other people live, but also how good they have it compared to, you know, how you may live. Like when we were on our bus ride, it was like an hour and something ride. So you just basically are looking out the window and I, I'm a very like observant person. I like to observe things. I'm not like the loudest one in the room or anything. I like to just soak everything in and I'm thinking and I'm reflecting and I'm analyzing. So as we were on the bus, I'm just looking at how these people live. A lot of their homes were like shacks. They weren't, you know, nice looking at all. But one thing I did notice is that there was no hustle and bustle. People were literally outside just chilling. I did not see any fast walking, fast pace, anything. Everyone was just outside, midday outside, you know, in these little lawn chairs, just talking. Um, some were eating, the little kids were playing. And I'm just like, everyone just seemed so content with their lifestyle. And I literally was just like, just soaking that in, despite maybe the conditions of the homes and things like that, just from the bus ride, I can, I noticed that they were content with their lifestyle, that they were happy with their lifestyle. And that's just how they lived. And I love that, that type of just, it wasn't, you know, it wasn't, oh my God, is that a mosquito? Oh, he's gonna bite me. He's gonna bite me. I just noticed that they were just content with their life. You know, they weren't on their phones, looking at stuff, scrolling Instagram. They were just literally just, living life and communicating and not I don't know y'all it, it's just something that I took from it just watching the people just live and I was like I want to come back here again I've never seen so many beautiful people in my entire life like you look at these people and you're and you're like are they like are they real so all in all I enjoyed my trip it's definitely gonna have a stamp on my heart I thank curls for you know allowing me to experience this it was just it was so much fun. Overall, this trip was bam. I had fun. I'm going to end the vlog off right here. I'm going to go take my shower, pack these clothes, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.